Hello friends, if you want to know how to make the cute little mushrooms that I made for the garland that's pictured here, look no further. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a single red mushroom and then from there you can go on to make your own however you'd like. They're pretty easy to make and I don't even really use a template, I just kind of cut them out at whatever size I want and then sew them up. So I'll try my best to explain in this video and please let me know if you have any questions and if you end up making one, I'd love to see a picture. Materials I used were polyester thread and I used Pendleton wool scraps for the mushroom except for the white dots which I made out of felt. If you don't have those specific materials, that's fine, just using felt should work just great for you. What's pictured here is all the fabric pieces you'll need. I didn't really measure out the specific sizes, but if you cut some similar to what you see here, you should be good. First, you'll get your needle and thread already with red thread, and then you'll be stitching around the big red circle, which is going to be the top of the mushroom cap. Once you've stitched all the way around the edge of the mushroom, you'll pull it tight like I did here to create kind of a little bowl or bag look before you tie a knot and cut this thread off. Once you've got your knot tied, you'll just turn the whole little thing inside out. If you need help with tying basic knots, there are lots of articles online that help teach it, but basically what I did was just make a little loop and pull the whole thread through it tight, and that works great for me. Next is putting some stuffing inside the top of the mushroom. I like to put a lot, but you can make it as squishy or as solid as you want. Also, if you notice the band-aid on my finger, that's just because I've been sewing so much the last few weeks that it started to get wear and tear on my hands and I don't have a thimble. After you have the stuffing inside, you're going to get the large circular piece, which is the bottom of the mushroom cap, and start stitching that on. I'm mostly self-taught in sewing, but I believe the stitch that I used here is called the ladder stitch, and I'm sure there are a lot of articles and tutorials online if you want to learn more about how to do that. With this stitch, as you can see, I'm kind of tucking the frayed cut edge in, and at the end it's going to look really nice. You're not really going to be able to see much of the stitches, and it's going to look very smooth. And the mushroom cap is done. After this, we're going to work on the mushroom stem, and for this, I use some of my white thread. For this one, the stitching I did was a very basic back and forth stitch through, and I went all the way around but left the very top part open. Once you're done with the sewing portion of the mushroom stem, you need to turn it inside out. And since it's so small, it's hard to do with your bare hands. In this case, I used just the bottom of a colored pencil, but you could also use a chopstick, or sometimes your sewing uh, stuffing will come with its own wooden stick that is for this purpose. Next up is putting the stuffing inside the mushroom stem. After this, you'll be attaching the mushroom stem to the mushroom cap. We're going to use the same ladder stitch that we did to sew the bottom of the mushroom cap onto the red part, except this time we're going to use white string instead of red. Once you've finished sewing on the mushroom cap and tied your little knot as small as you can up in the crease in order to hide it, then all that's left is sewing the little spots under the top. Start by making sure that your knot is going to be obscured under the dot so it won't be visible, and then you just do sort of broad stitches. It's not needing to be securely sewed on, it's more of a decorative stitch in this case. And then what I do is try to hide the knot in the seam somewhere on the white part of the mushroom so that you can't really see the knots. I use a pretty long piece of thread so I don't have to tie a knot after each of the spots, but just sew all the spots together with the same and then do one knot at the very end. I like to do three spots because I think that's a cute number to do, but it's up to you if you do more or less or where exactly you place them. Once the last spot is sewn on and the knot is tied, congratulations, you're done! You've made a really adorable little mushroom that's perfect for a single decoration, or you can put them on a long garland like I did with different colored caps. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and if you feel like you need more details or help, feel free to leave a comment or email me. I'd love to help you out, and if you make one of these, please send me a picture because I'd love to see it. Thank you!